cold out, man. It's cold. Jesus. It's November. Anyway, I'm gonna be honest to everybody to start this off because there's no other way to do it at this point. I am going to man up tonight, all right? I am going to play ranked seasons and I'm not going to be scared who the hell is on the map. All right, you can't be scared going into any circumstance in life, I figured. So you just have to just, you have to go into it. So why be scared? I feel like ever since I played NHL that day last week, my voice has never been the same. I am going to use a team that has to do with something that was in the past. This is actually somewhat of a very weird thing I never thought would happen. This is one of those things where I was just sitting here looking at the damn menu thinking, what the hell next? And then somehow I just, I just thought that this might work. This is only going to be old school MLB The Show things only. Every single human being on the on the screen right now was a previous version in an older game. None of these cards were released for 21 purposes. All of them were released for old purposes. I don't know if they were the same overall if they were. I got Mitch Garver behind the plate. This was released in MLB 19. This was actually not the best catcher I could have used. I could have used the uh there was another one. I don't remember who it was, but there was another catcher I could have used, I think. The Garver in 19 was ridiculous. I got Matt Carpenter at first base. This, if any card was broken, I would debate the Matt Carpenter, the player of the month from 2018, was as good as the Immortals. This is the 91 Future Stars Moncada from MLB 17. I remember when this first came out. I'm not gonna lie. I had no idea who this was. I was like, all right, well, damn. The White Sox, huh? The 99 Javier Baez from 19 was very good. Every Baez I feel like I've ever used, I've done somewhat all right with. This was released later on though, because didn't it was for the cover. This is Tommy Edmond. This is the player of the month from 2019. This is probably one of the worst ones of the team build, but I mean, the hell with it. He's a switch hitter. Put him in. Yoenes Cespedes from... Uh, 20? Yep, this is from 20, I think. I have never used this card, I don't think. Not even last year, and if I did, I don't remember it. This is Lorenzo Cain from 2018, the finest. The only thing about 18 that I liked was the finest card arts. And this is the MLB The Show 19 finest, Danny Santana. Again, the only reason he's in, because he's a switch hitter. As for the pitching, I was able to actually pull this off for the bullpen. Every single reliever in was an older version in a game. Now, technically, this Chris Sale this wasn't technically a Chris Sale that was released in a previous game or anything like that. This was released this year for the intended purposes of it being in 21, if that makes sense. But there was always a silver Chris Sale in previous games. I can't believe I'm even saying this right now, but I am taking the mound with a Baltimore Orioles starter. Somebody kick me. Dylan Bundy, the 94 overall from MLB The Show 17. I don't even remember this card. I don't. I don't remember much from previous years, but that specifically. 45 strikeouts and 36 innings pitched, including a complete game shutout. Uh, you know, I don't know why I'm bitching about facing the Grom, because I haven't even fucking faced him in weeks, maybe. So, has the memo been sent? I don't know if everyone's just got a hold of the memo and is sick of it, or it's, I'm just getting lucky. But let's hope for another one tonight, please. Anyone find that when you go somewhere and you have to talk for a lot of time that your throat is sore hours later? Or is that just me? I had to talk a lot tonight because I went to my mom's house. My throat is killing me. I don't even like speaking. If there's one thing I learned in my time from playing MLB The Show, it's that if they have Twitch.tv in their name, they're most likely going to kick the shit out of you. I might be stupid, but that is one thing I have grasped in the many years that this has been taking place. Nice. Get some outs here. Boog79. That can't be. There's no way this- did this guy name his damn thing after Boog? If this guy named his damn thing after Boog, then this guy is the greatest person of all time. This guy's probably like, what the fuck are you doing? If any person thinks that any human being is drunk as a skunk, it's this guy thinking I am. That's the best pitch of the game. Alright, it's the top of the first inning for shit's sakes. There's- why would that sentence even be said? Dude, I don't know about you, that looked like it was gonna be routine and then somehow went to the wall. You know, sometimes you don't play this game for a couple of days and then you come on and then you're the best you've ever played in your life. And then sometimes you get on and you don't even know what this object that's being thrown at you even is. So hopefully it's gonna be one of those nights that's the first option. You can take a couple pitches in the first at bat, it might be a good sign. And then you do that. I bet any fucking currency, if Baez even touches the ball, it might be gone. 
What are you doing, you idiot? Jesus Christ, Carpenter Stance gonna give me a stroke. Fuck you. I can't believe I'm counting on somebody from the Orioles to pitch well. I'm sorry, I'm just... It doesn't make sense saying that sentence. I know Baltimore Orioles fans might be like, shut the fuck up, you idiot. But even saying that sentence just doesn't even make sense, and I feel like I don't have a chance from the beginning. That is not where that's supposed to be. Can you even throw a worse pitch if you try? Wait a minute. That's gone. That's absolutely crushed. Boog Wine Geek. What is that? I don't know what that is. Is that a person? Is that his name? He took him out. I don't know if I've ever seen somebody take their cap out for an actual real player. Oh, Jesus. I keep forgetting every fucking time... Otani pitches, he has to hit. Holy shit. My gosh, that was a, th a three-pitch, that was a three-pitch inning. I was gonna say, if any person on this team I didn't think would do anything. All right, Moncada, it's time to turn back the clock or or move up the clock or what do you even do with the clock when he's up, really? Do you turn it back or do you throw it out the window? Just do something with the clock. That's gone. It better be, because I'm running. The clock! I think the clock was thrown out the window. I love Dylan Bundy. Why are you swinging like that? Dude, that could have been maybe something done. Why do some damn cards in this game swing like you just pulled a vacuum cleaner out of your back pocket? That ball would have landed beyond the mountains if that was connected with me. Dude, I might not even make this. You're joking. You're fucking fibbing me! Oh, that's a big inning. A big inning. Every time I say big inning, I always I think of the word beginning. This is when this game just turns into all-out chaos. This is when everything in this game will most likely be crushed. Well, I, I don't know. I saw that coming. I don't know what you can say because I would have guaranteed Bellinger. What are you doing, you stupid idiot? That was the worst pitch ever calculated on planet Earth, maybe. Holy shit, I don't think you can throw a worse pitch than that. That's the first out. The good news with this team is you can yank the starter and not worrying about blowing the team by... Or what? You don't have to worry about screwing over the team by... By, by bringing your bringing your bullpen in does not screw over the sake of the build is what the sentence should be said. Fuck. Oh my Jesus. Oh my good God. No, don't ever do that again. What are you doing? Or was that even that fast? Well, that was fast, wasn't it? You have the lead and then it disappears before you know you have it. What are you doing? I don't know. This is not to the point where you want to just take out your starter, but man, this is getting ugly. You might have to do it, even if you're not losing. Get everyone up. Fuck. Get the usher in the 63rd row up. This is going to get out of hand quick. I'm fucking scared to even throw anything right now. It's at that point in the game. It happens at least once a game, and now I'm at that point. No way in the depths of hell. Dude, that's- no, wait, that's good. God, I can't believe this is tied. That's a bad mindset to have. Say that way too much. But it's the truth. All these games I'm tied in, I can't believe it's tied. I feel like I'm losing by a lot. This guy's diving for everything. I don't blame him. I want to see it too. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck am I doing? Holy shit, I just left Bundy in like an idiot. If this ship is going down, it's going down with the bullpen tonight. Wait a minute, he made a move. Oh my god. Do not tell me this guy's gonna try to use this clown for the rest of the game, please. I don't know what fucking reliever is worse to face than this one. I feel like this should be a more discussed about issue. That was the best throw I've ever seen. That's just annoying. Get out! 
That's huge. Jesus, what's going on today? Everything's being roasted now. Nope. That's very lucky, actually. Wait a minute, how do I... Oh. I thought it was 4-3. Yeah, this is good now. This is very good. If Bundy was in, wrap it up. Score, 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 and score. I don't want this guy to have a chance to leave this clown in for the rest. Thank you. That was actually great. The fuck was that? Any errors, your bench. That has to be the motto every game. If you have somebody in their actual spot, if they make an error, pull them the hell out of there. Get them out. And this guy went from, I don't know what the hell happened. This guy went from swinging away to taking everything to swinging away again. It seems like as soon as he's down, he gets anxious to swing. Yeah, he's in swing mode. But when it was tied, this mother shitter wouldn't chase anything. Again, I don't know if that was good or not. That was actually impressive. If you can take that to the opposite field for a no-doubter, that's beyond impressive. Well, why do I feel like things are going to get even more interesting now? Dude, that is Ortiz. I would do anything to know why this guy's name is Boog. Holy mother of shit, this guy's bullpen is incredible. That's a bad error. That is a very, very, very bad error. Do you steal? Do you steal? Do you steal right now is the question. I don't ever want to steal again. I don't know if I'm just bad at it, but I just cannot steal a bag in this fucking game. That is absolutely destroyed. Peterson is everywhere on planet Earth, it seems. The Blue Jays legend, Kirby Yates, is in charge of finishing this. I don't want to have to bring somebody else in. That means I'm not doing a good job if I do. Yeah, the amount that this guy's swinging, I shouldn't have to do that right now. That was so risky. If we're being completely honest with everybody right now, then that guy is probably punching his keyboard with his elbow. There's no way that that ball is still in, and this is still, that is amazing, actually. Holy shit, did I just do that? What in the fuck am I doing? Please get another one. I don't want this to go with only, damn it. This is only two runs in the top of the ninth. I'm scared to death. Fuck. Come on. Alright, Vlad, I'm not scared, I'm just very worried, buddy. Do not do anything that's gonna be scary. Jesus, 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 I don't know what to try right now. It's very confusing times at this moment. That was a good pitch, actually. I don't know if I've located one mother shitty pitch with this guy. Everything's been like 64%, dude. That's amazing. Now you go to the splitter and you get him, I guarantee it. Maybe again. That's pitch of the year. He thought I was going back to it. That's the first ninth inning I may have done something good. After all the shit I- who is that? Who is that guy? After all the shit I just talked, I got the win with Bundy, I think. That was actually a good game. No craziness. Everyone was pressing X and there was normal human beings in that one. Hell, I would have lost and I still would have loved every second of it. Jog Peterson with the ab- I, I should have looked at the exit velo one. What the hell? That bat just did inhumane type things.